Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Those of you that are familiar with Photoshop probably know that if you open a RAW file up into Photoshop, the RAW file will open up into Camera Raw first. Conversely, if you open a JPEG or a TIFF file into Photoshop, it will open up into Photoshop proper. It bypasses Camera Raw. Every now and then I'll get an email from someone asking me if there was a way to change that behavior. They would prefer their JPEGs and TIFFs to also open up into Camera Raw before Photoshop. Well, there is a way to do that. It's a little bit confusing and I'm going to do my best to try to explain it. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, if I have a JPEG and I open it up into Photoshop, it opens up directly into Photoshop. It bypassed Adobe Camera Raw. Now, I'll close this down. I'll go to a RAW file, and I take that RAW file and I open up into Photoshop, and it opens up into Adobe Camera Raw. Now, what I'm mentioning is many people would prefer those JPEGs and TIFF files to open up directly into Adobe Camera Raw. Well, to do that, to go to Preferences, you could get into Preferences two ways. You could click on this little sentence down here, that's preferences, or the more conventional way, just click on this little gear. What you want to do is go to file handling. You're concerned with this section right here, JPEG, HEIC, and TIFF handling. By default, both the JPEG, HEIC dropdown and the TIFF dropdown will be on automatically open with settings, all right? What does that mean? Well, it's a little difficult to explain. Uh, let me try to show you uh, in a little piecemeal way. Um, first of all, if you just want your JPEGs to open up into uh, Camera Raw automatically, open this drop down and go to the very last choice. Same thing with the TIFFs. You could just go to the very last choice, click OK. All right, we'll cancel out of this. Now I'll take the JPEG of Ali and I'll open Ali up into Photoshop. Now you'll see. It opened up directly into Adobe Camera Raw. So if that's all you want, you could stop here. If you want a better explanation of what all these things mean, um, let's get into it now. All right, let's say, let's go back to this gear and let's go back to the default settings. All right, I'll do them on both even though I'm not opening TIFFs. All right, so I'm back on those default settings. The default setting was, remember when I open up a JPEG in Photoshop, it just opens up directly into Photoshop. All right, but in this case, before I close this down, let me just take exposure all the way down. Just so you could obviously see I did an adjustment in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm gonna click Done. Now I'm gonna take that same JPEG and I'm gonna open it back up into Photoshop. You'll see it opened up into Adobe Camera Raw. That's because I did an adjustment to it. So that's what by default will happen. If you have a JPEG image and you do an Adobe Camera Raw adjustment to it or a Lightroom adjustment to it, because both of those uh, applications are non-destructive, it doesn't write the edit to the image. It writes it to the catalog, it's called. And it's stored there. And by default, if there's no um, adjustments done to a JPEG image, and you open it up into Photoshop, it'll open up directly into Photoshop. However, if there is an adjustment done, it will open up, as you see, in Adobe Camera Raw. Now I'm gonna undo, I'm just gonna reset it to default, and I'm gonna click Done. Now I'll take the same JPEG again, and I'll open it up into Photoshop. And you can see it opened up into Photoshop proper. So that's by default what it does. Now again, I'm gonna take this RAW file and open it back up into Photoshop so I could get to the reason why I'm doing this with the raw file by the way if you just open a JPEG with the default settings here and it opens up into Photoshop and then you do the uh, camera raw filter the camera raw filter won't have all the choices here in preferences so you need to get to the version of preferences that have all the choices so again if you just want to have it every single time open up into um, into Photoshop, choose that last choice on both of those. And then, as you'll see, now bear with me because I'm gonna show you one more thing. Um, when you take a JPEG 
it will open up into Camera Raw. Now, what about that other choice? Well, let me go to Exposure again, take that all the way down. Let me go to this, um, this gear, and let me go to that top choice, Disable JPEG and HEI Support. And I'll do the same thing for Tip. We'll click OK, and we'll click Done over here. Now, I'm going to take that JPEG, and I'm going to open it up into Photoshop. And what does it do? It opens up into Photoshop proper without any Adobe Camera Raw adjustment. Now, remember, I took Exposure all the way down. So um, that's probably not the choice you ever want to use. You're never going to want to use that one. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to go up to Filter and to the Camera Raw filter. And when it opens up in Camera Raw, you see there's no adjustments done here. It's like it forgot them. And if I open up Preferences, you could see that there's not as much, much preferences there. <laughs> so I need to open up a RAW file to get to the full... Um, bounty of preferences so that I could now properly um, have the JPEG and TIFF behavior uh, the way I want it to operate. So I'm going to go back to the bottom one because I want TIFFs and JPEGs and HEICs to open directly into Toby Camera Raw. That's what you need to do. So I hope that made sense. It's a little bit convoluted. Adobe certainly doesn't make it easy. Uh, with the way they have this worded and the way they have it laid out. Now you can see it opened up with the adjustment, just like that. So, hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them below, and hopefully I or someone else will be able to answer them. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.